let me ask you about something you said yesterday. Uh, you said we should never be reliant on a foreign country for the means of our own survival. Yeah. What did you mean? Well, I've been saying that, that for a long that, time. Well, we're reliant on many countries where we uh, give up our supply chains, we give up our factories, we give up our production facilities, and we can buy it someplace else for a little bit lower price. But it's really costing us more when that happens because we lose jobs, we lose everything, and we lose our independence, and we can't let that happen. So we'll be making some changes. We have been making those changes. Is there an executive order to basically ban the export of medical equipment? I don't know that we'll need that, but I think it's happening by itself. I think a lot of things are happening. Well, some people, we make the best medical equipment in the world, and you have some people like the uh, European Union, they don't take it because they have uh, specifications that don't allow our equipment in because it's designed in a different way. Even though it's a better way, it's designed. They're all, they're all playing games against us, okay? They've been playing games against us for years, and no president has ever done anything about it. But the European Union, you look at medical equipment. We make the best medical equipment in the world, but we can't sell it because we're not appropriately, and yet we take their medical equipment in our country. We're changing things, Steve. All of this is changing. But they have specifications so that our equipment, designed specifically so that our equipment can't come into their countries. It's a very terrible thing that's happened to our country. And let me tell you, some of the people that took the biggest advantage of us are allies. You know, we talk about allies. They took advantage of us in many ways, but financially as well as even militarily. When you look at, look, uh, I got, if you look at NATO, the abuse that was given to our country on NATO, where they wouldn't pay. And we were paying for everybody. We're paying. Now, because of me, they're paying a lot. Now they paid $125, $135 million, billion dollars more. And then, uh, ultimately, Secretary General Stoltenberg, who I think you would say is maybe my biggest fan, we got him to pay an additional $400 billion, billion other countries. And, uh, but, but, you know, that. And then there's the trade. They make, it, they make it almost impossible for us to have a fair deal. They know this. They know I'm just waiting. We have all the advantages, by the way. It's going to be easy when I decide to do it. But this isn't the right time to do it. But we've been treated very, very unfairly by the European Union.